It's time for a reboot, refocus. My goal is to sort of refocus what I'm doing and then sort of take it in a slightly different direction. So I'm still going to go through, you know, the workouts that I do, but, you know, Amanda gave me an idea. Must give credit where credit is due because I have a common theme in the majority of my videos. So as she was watching them, she said, you know, you're, you're short on time a lot of times and, and you're trying to get a workout in to a 45 minute to an hour window. I think a common theme among a lot of us, we're really busy, we have families, uh, work plays into a lot of things and, and doesn't give us a lot of spare time. So trying to maximize what little time we do have. Not only am I going to show you my workout in a short amount of time, I'm going to show you some things that if you don't have a garage gym, I'm going to show you some body weight movements. Um, in this video, for example, I'm doing chest, triceps, and shoulders. I'm going to try to help you out with things that you can do at home uh, in your spare time to you know, build muscle, to tone, to do what you want. I'm also going to sort of show you some of the meals that we eat here. Um, as a family, some of the healthy choices that we make and not so healthy choices that we make. So I do want to put that in the videos as well and sort of go from there. So this is sort of the refocus and then really trying to narrow down what I want to accomplish with these videos as opposed to just going through, you know, what I'm doing in a workout. I'd like to give some tips, some pointers, some help uh, to anyone out there that's watching or anyone that wants to see these and go, you know, I, I want to do something to improve my life or improve my lifestyle to make um, changes in my life because I think that's extremely important um, to live a healthy lifestyle so that, you know, you're with your family, you can do activities with your kids and, and just really enjoy life itself. So, that's the refocus. goal here is to show you body weight variations if you don't have uh, the equipment to do what I'm actually doing in the workouts for example bench press I'm going to show you what you can do with your body weight of a, of a typical variation so for this we're going to be looking at just a standard push-up if you can't do a push-up then what you want to do is what people call a girl push-up or bend and knee push-up and I'll show you both of those here in a second quick thing, if push-ups or the decline push-ups are too easy, I have one recommendation. Add some weight. That'll help. If you have a spare kid lying around, yeah, throw them on your back. The body weight movement for incline, in, uh, uh, incline press is actually a decline push up. So it's actually the opposite. So to work your upper chest using your body weight to hit the same angle, to hit the same part, you have to do a decline body weight push up.
right, so for triceps, for the body weight variation for push downs, whether they be V bar or straight bar, we're going to utilize dips. So we're going to use a bench and we're going to go through and show you how to do uh, body weight dips. is front shoulder raises with a plate so the body weight variation obviously if you can do handstand push-ups great um, I don't think that I can have I tried no but I'm gonna assume that I can't so the body weight variation I'm gonna be showing you are pike push-ups and they're gonna work your shoulders <laughs> 